Hey, what's up guys? It's Theo from Final Concept. So today I'm going to create an intro video like this one in After Effects. Welcome to Fino Concept. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. So here we are in After Effects and I'm going to click on New Project. So let's click on New Composition. So I'm going to leave my weight as 1920 and my height as 1080. So we have 1080p. And uh, the background, uh, I'm going to set mine to white, but you can change it to whatever you want. And I'll click on OK. So this is it. Now for the image I'm going to be using, I have just one of our photo manipulation images here. So that's what I'll click and drag in here. So you can see it is inside the project panel. I'll just click and drag and drop it onto the composition layer right here. So um, in the beginning, there's no animation. So let's just add in an animation. So I'll press S on my keyboard to bring up scale. You can also go into transforms and just click on scale right here but using s is a lot faster so i press s then i'll increase the size to right around 150 so in the beginning it should be around 150 percent of its actual size so i'll create a keyframe for that and i'll move about one second inside the video and i'll bring this back down to 100 so i'll type it in 100 now always create uh, an easy ease keyframe so right just right click go to keyframe assistant and click on easy ease the short key is f9 by the way so in the beginning it's going to be very big then it's going to move gently smaller when it gets to one second now after one second i'll just go in to like about 10 frames and i'll create a keyframe of that 100 percent then i'll just jump to the end of the clip which is five seconds then I will increase this to about 110. So once it gets here, it's just going to increase gradually to that. I think 110 is a little bit too much. So let's make it 105. So basically this is how it's looking like. Uh, I don't have my preview here. So I'll just go to window and I'll click on preview. So let's see how this is looking like. So in the beginning, it moves in, then it gently increases as we move on. Okay, so this is the first step. Let's hide this by pressing X, S one more time. Now we are going to draw a rectangle on top of our work. So this rectangle should cover up the entire work. Now make sure that your stroke is set to zero pixel. So to do that, I'll just double click on this rectangle tool right here and that will fill up the entire screen. That is one easy way of doing this. So let's close this up. So I'll move to about um, 100 frames and I'll create a keyframe for scale, which is like this um, rotation. So I'll press U on my keyboard. So R is for rotation, S is for scale and I'll Select these keyframes and I press F9 to easy ease them. Then I'll move to the beginning of, of the frame and I'll set this scale. Now make sure that um, this linked icon is checked off because right now if I just scale it, it will be scaling it in both directions, the X and Y directions. I don't want that. So I'll just unlink it so that this will move it in the S direction and this will move it in the right direction. This is what I want. So for the right direction, I'll make it zero. So um, it's going to be increasing like so. Now for the rotation, I'm going to make it around um, 15. You know what, let's make it negative 15 so that it will be from the other side. So this is what I have, a nice looking effect. So I think I'm okay with this. So basically, these are the two things I'm going to be using. Now you can see that the shape, which is the white shape we have here, is covering our work. We don't want that. So just press F4 on your keyboard or just click on this toggle switches or mode down here. Now I'll go, I'll click on the flight image, which is our image here. 
and I'll go under track mat, which is on top here, and I'll change that track mat to alpha mat shape layer one. Shape layer one is the shape we just created. So more or less like clipping mask in Adobe Photoshop, which we are familiar with, is only going to show where that shape is. So our image is only going to show where that shape is. And you can see from here. Okay, so once we've done that, I think we are okay with these two. So I'll quickly select both layers. I'll right click and I'll go to pre-compose. And I'll make sure that move all attributes into the new composition is checked. And I'll click on OK. So um, composing a work is more or less like grouping them up or changing it into a smart object. So when you go into the pre-composed um, layer, you can always adjust whatever things you did in the beginning. So I'll just close it up and I'll go back to the original. So I'll hit Ctrl D to duplicate this layer. And I'll move right around 10 frames. You know what? In between 10 frames and 20 frames, I'll just click and drag this here. Then I'll duplicate it one more time, Control D, and I'll move this over to about uh, 20 frames, and I'll click and drag this somewhere around here, like so. So currently, this is what we are having. One will come in, the other will follow, and the third one will follow. Now, this is already looking nice to me, but I think we can add in a little bit more. So for the second layer, or the second composition, which is this one, I'll go into effects and presets. If you don't have that, just click on window and go to effects and presets. And I'll just search in um, an effect like curves. So this is where we have curves. I'll just click and drag that onto the second layer or second composition. Then I'll create a curves like so, so that it appears a little bit darker than the original. So you can see that is affecting the second layer. So the first, Composition will come in, the second will come in, and the third will also follow. I think the third is a little bit too close. So you know what? I'll just move the second one to about 10 frames, and the third one should be somewhere around here. Now let's preview this and see how it is looking like. Okay, so I think this is looking nice already. So the next thing is to create um, the text that is going to slide in. So to do that, I'll use the rectangle to I'll create a random shape like this. Now, since this anchor point is not centered, if I try to rotate this, you will see that it will be rotating around that anchor point. And I don't want that. I want it to be at the center. So I'll grab my anchor point tool and I'll click this and drag it to the center. Now, this can't be perfect if you are just using your hands to do this. So just hold down control and double click and this is going to center it. So, so if I have it somewhere here and I click, I control double click on this, it's going to put it at the center. So just go to window and make sure align is checked. So if align is already checked, just try to center this. I have mine here, it used to be here, but I just changed my position. You can always just click and drag. Anyway. So um, for the shape, I want a stroke around it, but I don't want any fill color. So I'll go back to my rectangle to which is right here. You can see that the fill is white. So I'll create a stroke of about 10 pixel. You can see it already takes effect right here. And you can always click here to select which specific color you want to use. So I think I'll go with black because the entire background is almost white. Now I want to get rid of the fill. You can do that here. So under the shape layer, which is rectangle, I'll just click on this little arrow here. I don't need transform. So I'll go under content and under content, I'll open up rectangle. And you can see we have fill and stroke here. So I'll open up fill and I'll reduce the opacity of the fill to zero. So we can't see any fill in there. And basically that's that. We want this rectangle to start in at two seconds, which is somewhere around here. So usually you just click and drag this over to two seconds, but that's a long way. You can just hold down Alt and you press the left bracket key on your keyboard and that will do just that. So I think this is okay. So we want to add in what we call the, actually I've forgotten the name, so let's find it. So under content, just click on add and go to trim part. So you add in a trim part and let me just close this up. So under trim part, which is 
just under content. So we create a keyframe for start and we move about one second and we create a keyframe for end. So for sorry for start. So if you vary start, you can see that this is how it's going to look like. So um for the beginning, I'll increase this to about uh 100% so that when it is moving to the one second point, it is just filling up the whole screen. So once I do that, I'll just select all of this, right click, keyframe assistant, and I'll click on easy ease. Like I said, the short key is F9. So basically, this is what we are having. Now what is left is the text. So I'll grab the type two and I'll type in our uh, information. So let's call this entry video. And again, I will align this at the center like so. And I'll double click on the anchor point two to center this. So I want this to start 10 frames after the shape or rectangle has started animating. So I'll just crop this part out using Alt and the left bracket key. So from here to somewhere around, um, let's try 10 frames after that one second. I want the position, I actually want the scale to be this big. So I'll move to the beginning and I'll increase the scale to, to a lot. Um, let's try. So something like this. I actually want it to cover the entire screen. Okay, so I think um, 5500 should be just fine. So in the beginning, it's going to be something like this. Once that is filling up, then it's going to drop in like so. So basically, that is it. You can always use F9 to easy ease it. And I think this is looking nice to me already. Now, anytime you press U on the keyboard, you can always alter how fast the object should move. So I'm just going to um, make them a little bit faster like so. So basically that's it. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like to watch more of our videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, don't forget to share with your family and friends. This is Theo from Final Concept, And I'll see you guys in the next one.